Today, two local high schools look to advance in the Lakeshore PBS annual academic tournament that we call Making the Grade. Who will advance to the semifinals? Will it be Crown Point or Chesterton? We'll find out next because we are moments away from this exciting edition of Making the Grade. From safer communities, to admirable performances. We power Northern Indiana, so you can do what moves you. This is season number nine of Lakeshore PBS's annual academic tournament that we call Making the Grade. I'm your host, Andy Schultz, and today eight of the best and brightest students in all of Northwest Indiana look to advance their team into the next round of our tournament. What's at stake? Well, of course, the Making the Grade championship trophy for the winner of our tournament, as well as scholarship money generously provided by NIPSCO. This is a quarterfinal match. Who will advance to the semis? Will it be Crown Point or Chesterton? It's going to be an exciting game. I'm looking forward to it. We'll have a chance to meet our contestants a little bit later in the game as well. But we're going to kick this one off and get some points on the board right now with our first round. It's called Questions and Answers. It's pretty simple. I give the questions, you give the answers. Five points for a correct response. There's no penalty for an incorrect response. We'll just give the other team a chance at those five points. Let's play the game. Hands on buzzers, and here comes a five-point clue right now. Apple's Logic Pro 9 music notation program gives it a key velocity value of 112. Give the Italian musical term for very loud, usually written, Abi from Crown Point. Fortissimo. Yes, fortissimo, written with two small italicized Fs next to each other. Great job, first five points of the game go to Crown Point. Here comes another clue. Give all prepositional phrases in this sentence. We arrived at the church two hours late because Steve got lost and drove us across the city and over a mountain. Josh from Chesterton. At the church, across the city, over the mountain. That is correct. Five points for Chesterton, and you had to really earn them that time. All right, here we go. Another five-point clue. What river that separates Kentucky from Indiana, often called... Drew from Chesterton. The Ohio River. That's correct, the Ohio River. Called the River Jordan by those on the Underground Railroad. I didn't know that. All right, five points for Chesterton. Here comes another one. In the Shel Silverstein story, what type of fruit did the giving tree, Matthew from Crown Point. An apple. Yes, that's correct. The giving tree produced before it was cut down an apple. Crown Point with five points there. After his time as ambassador to both Russia and France, he was in power when his country Abi from Crown Point. Thomas Jefferson. Uh, it's not Thomas Jefferson. I will finish it for Chesterton. He was in power when his country annexed Alsace and Lorraine from France. Name this longtime Prussian prime minister, fired by Kaiser Wilhelm II in 1890. Josh from Chesterton. Otto von Bismarck. That is correct. Von Bismarck for five points for Chesterton. You're up to 15. Red, silver, and sugar are all types of what tree whose Drew from Chesterton. Oak. It is not oak. I'll finish it. I will not finish it. Abi. Maple. Maple is correct. The tree whose sap is made into pancake syrup. Nice job. Crown point with five more and we're tied. What two word phrase starting with L means wintertime underwear that goes down to your ankles? Drew from Chesterton. Long John. Yes, correct. Long John's five points. Which small Arab country was removed from Saddam Hussein's control? Drew from Chesterton. Kuwait. Kuwait, correct, in the first Gulf War. That's the conflict. Five points for Chesterton. Which major Korean appliance company was formed? Brandon from Chesterton. Samsung. It is not Samsung. I'll finish it for Crown Point. The major Korean appliance company was formed from a merger of Lucky and Gold Star. Matthew. Sony. It was not Sony. It was LG, Lucky and Gold Star. I didn't know that stood for anything, but now you do. Here we go. Five-point clue coming your way now. Which part of your body has a mitral valve and two ventricles? 
Matthew from Crown Point. The heart. Heart is correct. Five points for CP. You're up to 20. Trail by five. Which title character in a story by Hans Christian Andersen sees her grandmother on New Year's Eve as she is freezing to death? Drew from Chesterton. Um, the Ice Princess. That's incorrect. Crown Point. Abby? The Little Matchstick Girl. I'm sorry? The Little Matchstick Girl. We'll take that. All right, yeah, Little Match Girl, but you're on the right track and close enough for this one. Five points. Thanks for the ruling there. Uh, for Crown Point, we're tied at 25. It has a dead zone, partly created by sediment from the Mississippi River. Name this large body of water. Zane from Crown Point. Gulf of Mexico. Yes, Gulf of Mexico. Five more for CP. You're on a roll. You vault into the lead. In the novel by Kate DiCamillo, Despero is what type of rodent? Drew from Chesterton. Mouse. Mouse is correct. Five points. The water, pardon, the water may vary from almost totally fresh to extremely salty within what ecological system created where a river, Abby from Crown Point. An estuary. Estuary, where a river meets an ocean. Nice job, five points, four CP there. You are in the lead. Name the breakfast dish made from beaten, not scrambled, eggs, and usually filled with cheese or vegetables. Matthew from Chesterton. Omelet. Omelet is correct. Five points for Chesterton. We'll stop for a snack here in just a few moments. Here comes another five-pointer. Provolone is a popular kind of Italian cheese. Spell provolone. Drew from Chesterton. P-R-O-V-O-L-O-N-E. Correct. Provolone, five points for Chesterton on the correct spelling. Nice job there. You're up to 40. The Bayreuth building of this type was built to feature the ring cycle of Richard Wagner. What type of building also includes the one in Sydney, Australia, whose outside looks drew from Chesterton? Opera House. Yes, correct, who looked, it looks like a sails of a ship. And that is the end of our first round. And with that correct response, Chesterton extends their lead to 10. Great round played by both teams here in a titan of a quarterfinal matchup. We're gonna put a bookmark in this game. Take a moment to meet our contestants. I'm going to start on the Crown Point side, and I'm talking to Matt, whose favorite song, I love this, For the Longest Time by Billy Joel. Can we all sing it together? You guys take some parts, got some harmonies over there. Here we go. One, two. You want to do it? Oh, 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 for the longest time. Who's got the high part? Who's got the high part? Oh, 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 oh. Go, Josh. You got this. <laughs> nice for job. The... Hey, it's a great song. Yeah, it's a, it's a great, great song. song. One of my it. favorites as well. You're part of the Student Council, the Biomed Club, and you have a great favorite song. So. You. Glad you're here. Thanks. Thanks for singing that, too. Yeah, it's a great song. Good luck the rest of the game. Willow is a junior at Crown Point, and you are part of the Symphony Orchestra. Yes. And you also give yourself an interesting title, the Queen of Self-Care. What yes. does that mean? Well, I like to take at least two days out of the week and just relax for at least an hour, put on a face mask, enjoy some Netflix. Interesting. And I also do that. <laughs> Except without the Netflix. It's usually just a face mask and some, I'm just kidding. Willow, <laughs> that is great. Take care of yourself. Uh, good luck the rest of the game. And uh, glad you're here. Nice to meet you. Abby is a sophomore at Crown Point. Your favorite sport is tennis. Yes. You like to play? Not yeah. just watch it, but you like to actually play it? Yeah. Singles, doubles? I like doubles more, but I yeah. play singles on the You don't have to run as much in the doubles. You're in the Spanish club as well. Yeah. Do you uh, travel at all with that club? No, I mean, we travel to Chicago like once in a while to learn about um, how the gentrification sure. is hurting the neighborhoods. Oh, but, wow. Um, and I don't know, we travel like as part of like the class itself, but like mm -hmm. we don't travel for the club. Good. Not much well, other than I'm just that. glad you're doing it and you're, you're learning some good things in the city. I'd be nice to meet you. Zane is a junior at Crown Point and your favorite book is called Free to Choose by Milton Freeman. Tell me a little bit about that book. So Free to Choose about Milton Freeman, or by Milton Freeman, uh, is essentially about uh, economic choices that we all make uh, every single day. And it's essentially an argument for the free market and against uh, government subsidized monopolies. Sure. Uh, it argues that uh, individuals uh, make much better choices than bureaucrats do. You like to stay informed, I can tell. You yeah. You told me in a previous episode that you're into economics as well, so you want to make that a job. <clears throat> yes. All right, awesome. Well, good luck with that. Good luck the rest of the game to the Crown Point team. They are coached by Vince Bowders. <laughs> this has been good. Thanks for helping me sing that song earlier, guys. Appreciate that. Matthew is a senior at Chesterton. Uh, you like to play Mario Kart? Yeah. And you're a runner. Yes. Your featured event is what? Uh, well, 
and track, it's the 800. 800. Cross country, everybody runs the same race. Sure, so. sure. So in the 800, I mean, for me, like that's like an endurance race, but for you, that's probably a sprint. Oh yes, 100%. <laughs> that's awesome. How long have you uh, been competitively running? Uh, well, I started with the running club in third grade, but sure. that's not really competitive, so probably seventh grade. Yeah, awesome. So. Well, good. Good to meet you. Glad you are here, Matthew. Drew is a junior at Chesterton. Part of the uh, you play tennis. Part of the Quiz Bowl, Science Olympiad, and your favorite movie is Space Jam. Yes, it I is. love this. This is a great it's movie. Now, a great movie. The, of course, we're talking about the Michael Jordan, like yes, Lola yes. Bunny one. If they come out with another one, are you going to be disappointed? No. Oh, I'll be disappointed. Yes, I'm not going to watch it. You want to see the? No. I believe Michael I can Jordan fly. is. Yeah, Michael Jordan is the Space Jam. I actually have my Space Jam socks on right now. So. That's so awesome. Yeah. I wish I could. Oh, you're yeah. gonna, look at that. Can anybody yeah, see that? Yeah. <laughs> so good. Thank you, Drew. <laughs> yes. I'm really glad that you had that to feature. Yes. That's awesome. Brandon is a senior at Chesterton, and uh, you play tennis, part of the Quiz Bowl, Science Olympiad, and you told me you told me in the bio sheet your favorite shape is the triangle. Yes, the What triangle. attracts you to the three-sided triangle here? Well, in terms of like architecture and physics, this triangle is really the strongest shape just because sure. it has the least amount of joints in order to like uh, stress. So by that's why you see many buildings like use triangles, and if they can't use a triangle, they use a square. Yeah, makes sense. See, so you, you had that. You got a good like answer justification. <laughs> I would have said it looks good, and then that would have been my answer. I mean, nice it job, does Brandon. look pretty good. Great to meet you. And Josh is a junior at Chesterton. Your mo your favorite movie is anything from Marvel Studios. Yes, sir. So you've, I mean, there's so many. Is there one that is like that really stands out to you? The best one's probably Captain America: Civil War. Okay. It's got such a great cast and so many new characters added. Yeah. For a nerd like me, just a real party. We're all in the same boat here. So good, so good. Except some of you guys are a little more athletic than I am. So there you go. Well, that's awesome. Glad you're here. Good choice in movies there. Great to meet you. Good luck to the Chesterton team the rest of the way. They are coached by Chris Hackett. All right. Back to the game, to our second round. It's called Pop Quiz. Everybody's favorite. You walk into class, it's time for a pop quiz. You didn't have a chance to study, we're just gonna see what you know. A little pressure here. This is a one-on-one -on -one competition. It'll be Josh versus Zane, Abi and Brandon, Drew and Willow, Matthew versus Matthew. That might get a little confusing a little bit later. We'll try to navigate through that, and then we'll cycle around again and uh, keep going until that round is over. All right, can't confer with our teammates on this one. This is a one-on-one -on -one competition. So we'll start with Zane and Josh. This one is for you. Commanders in this war included the Earl of Cardigan, who led the Light Brigade at the Battle of Balaclava. Identify this war of the mid-1850s that saw Zane from Crown Point. Franco-Prussian War. Not Franco-Prussian, I'll finish it for Josh. Uh, this war of the mid-1850s that saw Florence Nightingale's service as a nurse on its namesake peninsula. Go ahead, Josh. Austro-Prussian War. Uh, incorrect, we're looking for the Crimean War. Brandon and Abi, this is a five-pointer for you. Though arrested for voting illegally for president in New York in 1872, she has had the 19th Amendment nicknamed for her in honor of her work for women's rights. Name this first woman ever to appear. Brandon from Chesterton. Eleanor Roosevelt. Incorrect, I'm gonna finish it for Abby. Name this first woman ever to appear on the US dollar. Go ahead, Abby. Susan B. Anthony. That is correct, Susan B. Susan B. Anthony. Five points there, she was on the dollar. Willow and Drew, here's a five pointer for you. What type of map shows state capitals and other cities where people drew from Chesterton? Political map. Political map, correct, but not mountains and rivers, no physical features, political is correct. Five points for Chesterton. For Matthew and Matthew, Chesterton and Crown Point. Give the total number of US senators when the Senate chamber has everyone there. Matthew from Crown Point. 100 senators. Yes, correct. 100 is the right answer. Five points for CP. You trail by that many. Zane and Josh, here comes a five pointer. 340.3 meters per second is the approximate speed of what quantity through air? Josh from Chesterton. Sound. Sound. Seed of sound is 340.3. Nice job. Abi, Brandon. If you live in New York City, you can pay whatever you want to visit this museum that is home to Salvador Dali's The Persistence of Memory. Identify this museum. Brandon from Chesterton. Museum of Modern Art? Yes, or MoMA, Museum of Modern Art. Five more for Chesterton, and you are up to 60. Drew and Willow, a five-pointer for you. What four-letter word is both a layer of wedding cake 
and a higher row of seats in an opera house. Drew from Chesterton. Tear. Tear is correct, five more, and you're up to 65. Matthew and Matthew. Built at what is now the Jefferson National Expansion Memorial, it is meant to symbolize the starting point of the Lewis and Clark expedition. Name this large catenary curve in St. Louis. Matthew from Crown Point. Uh, St. Louis Arc? Nope. Sorry, Matthew. Go ahead, Matthew Chesterton. The St. Louis Arch of the start of the Lewis and Clark expedition. <laughs> That's a really good guess. I was tracking with you. They can, technically, it's considered the Gateway Arch in this case. I think informally, St. Louis Arch, yes, but it also arc threw me off a little bit there on that first response. So thanks for the ruling from back there. Josh and Zane, here comes a five pointer for you. Alizarin yellow turns red in a strong one of these, while phenylphthalein turns pink in one of these. Name this type of solution defined as any substance that can accept hydrogen ions that is the chemical opposite of an acid. Josh from Chesterton. Base. Base is correct. The last part gave it to you, right? Five points there. Here comes another five pointer. This is for a B and Brandon. In the George Orwell novel Animal Farm, what devoted plow horse accepts that Napoleon is always right? That horse was named Boxer, Drew and Willow. U.S. President Martin Van Buren gave his inaugural address in what year? The 50th anniversary of the U.S. Constitution. Drew from Chesterton. 1826. It is not 1826. Willow? Go for it. 1829. It was not. The Constitution dates back a little later, or later than that. 1837, the date we were looking for this time around. That's the end of our round. And after two rounds, Chesterton with a 70 to 45 lead. But as you guys know, you've played the game before. You know there's many points coming up here in our third round. It's called Class Project. Here's how it works. I'm going to give three clues that all lead toward the same answer. Everybody's back in here, hands on buzzers for this one. All eight of you, it's an all skate. I'm gonna give those three clues. If I read one clue and you know the correct answer, it's worth 30 points. If I read two clues, it's worth 20. If I read all three clues, it's worth 10 points. Uh, I'm gonna give both teams a chance to guess at each of those levels if you choose, all right? Here we go. First three clues that lead to one answer. Social studies is the category, 30 points. This area had been explored in great detail by Russia for more than 30 years. Zane from Crown Point. Alaska. Alaska is correct. You got it after one, and actually before I finished it, 30 points for CP, and you jump into the lead. All right, exciting one here. Another three clues pointing toward one answer. The category is science. If you imagine a black hole as a sphere, this limit is the surface of the sphere. Matthew from Crown Point. The event horizon. Event horizon is correct. 30 more for CP. You guys have rattled off 60 in the round. And a job well done. Catch up here. All right, here comes three more clues, one answer, and our last one of this round. The category is language arts. 30 pointer. As a verb, this word means to sing someone else's hit song yourself. Or, Josh from Chesterton. Cover. Cover is correct. 30 points in what is probably the fastest third round we have ever played in this game. And would you look at that, it's a tight one. Crown point, 105. Chesterton, 100. You guys are gonna have lots of time here in this last round, which we call final exam. And there's a ton of points at stake here as well. Six categories, you see them up on the board. Five questions each worth 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 points respectively. We're gonna answer them in that order. Cannot jump down here in this one. The team that will control the board is the one who last answered in the round, except for the first choice, which is gonna go to Chesterton. You trail right now in the game. So tell us where you would like to start with a 10 point clue. We'll go to U.S. Geography. U.S. Geography it is, a 10-pointer in that category. In 1869, this Indiana University was begun under the moral Zane from Crown Point. Purdue. It was Purdue University, the Moral Land Grant Act. 10 points for Crown Point. Your lead, you also control the board. You can stay with U.S. Geography for 15 or go somewhere else. Uh, U.S. Geography. U.S. Geography, 15. 
The Severn River flows past this capital city of Maryland. Abi from Crown Point. Augusta. Uh, incorrect. Chesterton. Drew. Annapolis. Annapolis, 15 for Chesterton, yes. You can stay with geography there, or you can go somewhere else. Let's go colors. Colors, I like those, those are easy. 10 points. Both the black rhinoceros and the white rhinoceros are generally this color. Abi from Crown Point. Gray. Gray, yeah, tricky names. 10 points for CP. You control the board, you have the lead. Uh, economics. Economics. These are economic terms in this category. A 10 pointer. Things that have earning power or some other value to their owner. Brandon from Chesterton. Asset. Yes, that is correct. Assets for 10 points for Chesterton. You have control. What would you like to do? Uh, let's go biology. Biology, a 10 pointer in that category. In plants that use the CAM type of photosynthesis, the stomata underneath leaves are closed during the day, but open at night to receive this substance. Matthew from Chesterton. Water. Uh, incorrect, a B from Crown Point. Oxygen. It is not oxygen, we were looking for carbon dioxide, CO2. Chesterton, I believe you control the board. Uh, world literature. World literature, a 10 pointer in that category. Russian composer Sergei Prokofiev wrote a four-hour opera based on this author's epic war and peace. Abi from Crown Point. Leo Tolstoy. Yes, Tolstoy for 10 points for CP, your board. You lead by 10. I think you go. Uh, biology. Biology it is for 15. In a food web, the this function is usually performed by a mushroom. Brandon from Chesterton. Decomposer. Yes, decomposer. 15 for Chesterton. You control. You're in the lead. Uh, let's go geometry. Geometry. Pencils and paper ready for clues in this category. Here's your 10 pointer. The new coordinates of the point 9, 4 after it is reflected across the line Y equals X. Abi from Crown Point. Uh, negative 4, negative 9. I. Mm, I'm having a hard time with this one. I, I think that might actually be correct. Yeah, I think it is. I'm sorry, be, it's not written in my responses, but going back to my very, very long time ago, yeah, you get the point. I think that, it, do we agree that that's the right answer? I'm struggling with this one because it's not here, but I feel like it's right. I don't know, what, what are we doing here? Are we saying that's good? I'm sorry. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Yeah, we're okay here. 10 points for crown point. Don't mean to kill the time on you. Go ahead. Uh, you, geography. Geography. 20 points there. This state saw the Revolutionary War battles of Guilford, Courthouse, and Charlotte. Abi from Crown Point. South Carolina. It is not South Carolina. Chesterton Drew. North Carolina. Yeah, North Carolina it is. 20 for you. You control. What would you like to do? Let's go back to world literature. World literature for 15. This country's classical poetry includes after the lotus flowers have opened. Abi from Crown Point. China. That is correct. People's Republic of China, 15. For CP, your board, your lead. Economics. Economics. We go back and forth here, 15 in that category. The price of labor. Brandon from Chesterton. Oh, a minimum wage. We're taking, we're, I'm sorry, over here. I'm sorry, I was told we we're gonna take it over here. Um, the 10 points, or the 15, pardon, for economics, I just, Sorry, I'm just getting told there. Uh, 15 for Chesterton, and you control. You said the keyword wages. Go ahead. Go color. color, 15. In art, mixing a primary color and a secondary color. Matthew from Crown Point. Uh, leads to a tertiary color. Yes, that is correct. Tertiary, 15, Crown Point, you control. Feeling the stress. Uh, geography, 25. Geography, 25. Good game here, played by both. By 1854, what was left of Indian Territory was all in the, this Plains State. I'll be from Crown Point. Oklahoma. Oklahoma, that's correct. In 1907, they changed the name to Oklahoma. You are control of the board after those 25. Uh, geography, 30. Geography, 430. We'll end the category. Though West Virginia is known for its coal mines, this western state has the two biggest coal mines in America, the Black Thunder, Drew from Chesterton. Colorado. It is not Colorado, I'm gonna finish it for CP. Uh, the two biggest coal mines in America, the Black Thunder and the North Antelope Rochelle. Abby? Uh, is it Idaho? It is not. Wyoming. 
who took, who controls here? <laughs> I'm so into the game, I think I've lost it. Are we at Chester? No, it's you guys, Crown Point, I'm sorry. Oh, geometry. Geometry. Thanks for the help there, guys. 15 in that category. If two right circular cones have the same volume, but cone A has three times the radius of cone B, the ratio of cone B's height to cone A's height. Matthew from Chesterton. Nine to one. Nine to one is correct. 15 points for Chesterton. You control the board. You trail by 10. Uh, let's go biology. Biology it is. 20 points in that category. This organelle generates ATP. <laughs> A lot of buzzers. Brandon from Chesterton. Mitochondria. Yes, that is correct. 20 points for Chesterton. Your lead, your board. Let's go to world literature. World literature it is. 20. In 1862, this French author published his novel Les Miserables. Drew from Chesterton. Rousseau. Incorrect. Crown point. Abby, you were just in time. Uh, Descartes. Nope, we were looking for Victor Hugo. And that is the end of our game. A narrow one, a tight one all the way through, and a tough one for Crown Point. Chesterton will advance to the semifinals by a score of 210 to 200 in a great game played by both. A little controversy, but it was, it was a tough one for both squads. I'm just really impressed with all of you. We'll see you next time on Making the Grade. From safer communities, To admirable performances. We power Northern Indiana so you can do what moves you.